SpaceX is no stranger to accomplishing the impossible. SN15's flight analysis coming up. The highly anticipated 10 kilometer flight of the SN15 had everyone on their toes as a wave of emotion came over them as we see the timestamp T minus one second. As T minus zero came and went, all three of Starship's Raptor engines ramped up to full throttle releasing their unmistakable roar, getting everyone's attention as she ascended through the clouds, eventually disappearing into the fog like a beast. As SN15 gets through the dense layers of the clouds surrounding Starbase, we see a better shot of the Mars rocket from a camera mounted on its four aileron flap. Again, an aspect where SpaceX never disappoints, its camera angles. T plus 32 seconds and we see an amazing view of Starship's engine bay with its three Raptors firing off. We can also see Raptor engine serial number 61. At T plus 2 minutes and 2 seconds we hear confirmation that the Raptor engine number 3 has shut down, starting the slowdown of SN15. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform and we've got shutdown on engine 3 on time. At 2 minutes and 40 seconds we hear T plus 2 minutes 40 seconds while we're trying to regain video from the vehicle. We continue to ascend, we have just passed the 8 kilometer point in flight, everything continues to look good on Starship 15. Which means we are passing 8 kilometers or about 26,000 feet over Starbase at Boca Chica. We get confirmation that engine number 2 has flamed out, and that they are approaching the hover and transition to belly flop maneuver. We've had engine number 2 shut down on time, we'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent but hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. And for a few seconds we get views back from SN15's engine bay which shows the engine flame out for the third engine and we also see engine flame out of the third final engine as we also see Starship start to lean towards its belly flop maneuver to begin its 32,000 feet descent before eventually the feed cuts out at 4 minutes into this amazing test. We then see that we got our views back at 4 minutes and 29 seconds as we see SN15 falling extremely fast towards the pad, before the camera cuts to the infamously famous shot of Starship's 4 fin as we get amazing shots, really showing the movement and role the fins play in guiding SN15 back to the pad at Starbase. From that same shot, we can see that Starship is venting from its backside. This most likely is the depressurization before engine chill to start the Raptor engines back up again for the flip and vertical landing. What is really cool to think about is when you see the landing legs tucked inside of the engine bay, that single leg is about the same size as an average human. It's trippy to think that about especially compared to the Raptor engine. As SN15 continues its fall, we see a cloud behind it. So what's so cool about a cloud? That cloud was produced from the Raptor engines on Starship's ascent, which really shows you how high 10 kilometers is. And at 5 minutes and 40 seconds, we see two of the three Raptor engines gimbal into action, this time not hitting each other. And with all of their power, they spring into action and flip SN15 vertical. And we see Starship appear out of nowhere as she descends through the thick clouds as we see the engines hard at work gibbling and moving to slow itself down enough for a soft and successful landing back at the pad. And that is exactly what she does. Serial number 15 sticks a landing back at the pad on its legs this time and we have all engine shutdowns. At this point, everyone is holding their breath for dear life, as we see a small fire at the aft flaps of Starship. Fearing that SN15 was about to become SN10 2.0, the water tower starts splashing her at full speed, 
and eventually managed to calm down and fully extinguish the fire that was caused by residual fuel flames. And SN15 was still. Five minutes passed, nothing happens. Nine and then ten minutes come and go, and nothing happens. Nine minutes was around the point that SN10 exploded due to a methane tank leak, getting into contact with the blazing fire on the bottom of itself. And still, nothing happens. Two hours after Starship's landing, and nothing happens. Finally, SN15 is deemed safe to approach and safe to start locking procedures since it had finished depressurizing and expelling harmful gases. And Starship is safe. Nothing happening to SN15 after landing was such an impactful moment that this vehicle completed the impossible and had just completed what many engineers deemed impossible and or improbable. That was a big realization that we are in the future my friend. With SN15 becoming the first ever Starship to complete a 10 km test flight and land successfully, SpaceX are planning to refly it later this month, and after SN15's refly, they will shift focus to completing an orbital insertion flight, where a whole batch of new technologies like BN boosters will come into play, as well as hundreds of added modifications to ensure the success of every Starship flight. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you guys like, I'll see you guys in the next video.